there's like four I'm going to tell you to stay away from that are popular right now. Uh, Van Jefferson, uh, Ben Skoronek, they're both being picked up in a lot of leagues due to the Cooper Cup news. I would avoid it. Skoronek over Van if you're going to go anybody, but I would stay away. That offense is in shambles. Watch Allen Robinson just go. He's going to be the number one. I don't trust anybody else. Uh, Darius Slayton is a very hot topic right now because he had his Darius Slayton game of the year. He does this every yep. year where he has one good game Yep, and one. goes bananas. Don't even worry about it. Don't pick him up. He's not going to be the guy. I saw him trending up. I'm like, he got you. He got you. <laughs> um, Nick Westbrook Eichen for the Titans. He's the one that kind of actually had a good game out of all the receivers. I don't trust the offense too much. I don't trust Tannehill too much. We talked about that earlier. Again, he's another one that's trending up. I would just avoid. And then last, Kendall Hinton, the Denver receiver. He's trending up due to the Jerry Judy news. That offense, again, another one that's in shambles. Can't score t- t- touchdowns. Um, I would uh, avoid. I Jerry Judy. I wouldn't worry about picking him up at all. Those are a lot of the popular ones that I say in there. Uh, Corona, I 100% uh, echo your statement. That's exactly my thought on that situation. Uh, I did talk about Van Jefferson, I think it was like three weeks ago, as he was coming back, um, hoping to see if he could, you know, fight for that number two spot against Allen Robinson. But Corona has been there. He, he's had a huge snap count uh, a lot of the year. I definitely think that, uh, that he is probably the more reliable way to go there. Dan uh, Jefferson didn't look good the last game either. He and too. When, when, when these guys come back from injury, everybody's like, oh, yeah, they're back 100%. He's been gone for how long? Awesome. You, you, you don't just – And their offense you don't is step back. Um, the only The only other thing I have to add would be DeAndre Carter. Uh, yeah. If you are a Mike Williams and or Keenan Allen owner – that game is going to be played on Sunday night, which means if they don't play, the only options you will have are the unknown options from San Fran and Arizona, who play on Monday night. So if you have better options, I would obviously sit those other guys, uh, Mike, Mike Williams and Keenan Allen, because that's a risk you don't want to take. However, if you can manage to snag DeAndre Carter, you it could be a solid fill-in for the Sunday night game. Um, it's all about what your what your roster is looking like. Uh, it, I don't think it's something I would chase unless I'm a Mike Williams or Keenan Allen owner, and I want to try and start either one of those guys, but I can't risk being left empty-handed if they don't play. So. Just if you have Keenan on, just expect him not to play. And if he does, expect him to do bad. What did I tell you? Out. What did I tell you? I there's, am, only, there's only one thing that Keenan Allen is better at than being an NFL wide receiver. And what is it? Being me off every week. NFL wide receiver. I was doing so I good. You. I had Mike Williams in a league, and I was doing so good. I was doing so good. I was winning every week. And then – since he got hurt, I've lost every single week. <laughs> I hate Chargers receivers. All right. Uh, I think that wraps it up for receivers, right? Do you have any other? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.